So over here you can see that I have two tables right here and they are linked together using relationships right here. So you can see ID is related to expert ID. So that is why if I were to go to table one, the ID here, if I were to expand it, you can see the other data from table two according to the expert ID related to the ID for this table. So if you want to generate out um, a, another table by using these data, then you can use something called a query. So to create a query, you need to go around over here into create and you can go to query wizard. And um, the simple way to create a query is by using simple query wizard right here, as you can see where it says new query. So I'm just going to say okay right here. And once I do that, you can select out different fields from table one and two right here, as you can see. So let me just go to table one. So if you were to click on this, it uh, moves out particular fields onto the other areas right here. And if you were to click on this one, it moves the field into the available field section. Whatever you see in, on the selected field is what you see at, in the final generated table. So I'm just going to go around right here. And if I want to move everything, you click on this right here. And if you want to move everything on to the left, you click on this. So what I want is I want the name over here on the selected field and member ID on the selected field. So if I were to go on table two right here, you can go around and move on field one as you can see right here. So let's say I want the field one right here on uh, this area right here. So I want to generate a new table out of this. So I'm just going to go around, press next. And you can create a summary or you can create a detail table right here. So I'm just going to choose detail and click on next right here. And you can name the query as well. So I'm going to say expert uh, master list right here, just like this, because you can see everything and click on finish. And what happens is that it generates a new table out of the data that you have right here onto a third table, as you can see, which is listed under queries. So over here, you can see the name, you can see the member ID and uh, the expertise associated with that member ID right here. So you can close this around right here. So you can go around, let me just uh, type in expertise right here, just like this. So this is what you have right here. Let me just close both of these. So if you were to open this up, now you can see it has been changed into expertise. And if you were to go on to any of the table right here and change around, let's say, for example, I'm going to go around and say Windows 11 instead of just Windows, close this out. Now what happens is that over here it is updated as well. And you can make the changes over here. And then what happens is that if you were, were to make any changes, so let me just go around over here and say presentation just like this. And if I were to go around into uh, the table, you can see that uh, the field has been updated with the new data presentation, as you can see. And that is how you can use a simple query wizard inside of an um, access database to generate out new tables by using queries, using existing table fields. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.